हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक एवरीबडी कैसे हैं आप सब आई होप ऑल ऑफ यूर डूइंग वेल लेटेस्ट पैच ऑफ ओवर वॉश टू ड्रॉप यस्टडे एंड वी सॉ द लीड हीरो डिजाइनर अलग डॉसन ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द रीजनिंग बिहाइंड ऑल दीज चेंजेस इन शॉर्ट दे डिड अ गुड जॉब विथ रोड हॉग बट नॉट विद द रेस्ट ऑफ दम लेट मी एक्सप्लेन इफ यू टेक अ लुक एट द पैच नोट द फर्स्ट चेंज दट द मेड टूरिसा इज हेल्थ बोनस रिड्यूस फ्रॉम वन ट्वेंटी टू सेवेंटी फाइव दिस डज नॉट चेंज एनीथिंग और इस इज स्टिल गोइंग टू बी रियली गुड टैंक इन रैंक Road Hog the hook damage has been reduced from 30 to 5 and the final position from Road Hog will be 4 meters instead of 3 this means you are going to have a hard time landing all your pellets and they will have a bigger window to escape from Road Hog's one shot okay this is really good damage per pellet reduced from 6.6 to 6 the overall damage the Road Hog that he can do in one shot is 150 on body shot and 300 on a head shot Recovery time reduced from 0.85 to 0.8. Reload time reduced from 2 to 1.75. Maximum ammo increased from 5 to 6. These are all good changes. Now let's talk about Sojourn. They did a really bad job with Sojourn. Okay, primary fire damage reduced from 10 to 9, reverting the old changes. Energy gain is no longer based on damage done by primary fire. You are going to get five energy on every shot that you hit. So they are indirectly trying to nerf the damage boost, but this does buff Sojourn in some areas. Okay. I'll explain the later part. Kiriko, healing over the recovery time increased from 0.85 to one second. So when you try to heal somebody, you are going to have a downtime of one second where you have to use your kunai or else you are not maximizing the potential of Kiriko. This is a really good change, but they are missing the important part that is the Suzu as well as her Kitsune Rush that makes it really really good. Now I'll try to address every character that is currently dominating the rank ladder right now. In tank category, let's first talk about Orisa. Orisa's cooldown cycle is really, really strong. Okay, you have to increase her javelin throw cooldown. She can stun you in every six second, which is not really fun, and she can cancel a lot of ultimate with that. Increase her cooldown from six to eight or nine second, or you have to take away the stun altogether. She can have the six second cooldown, but she is no longer able to stun you. Okay, so that she is not able to cancel many ultimates. Next, fortify has to change. You have to give the player the ability to headshot Orisa while she's in fortify, and increase the movement penalty from 20% to 40% or 20% to 50%, something like that. But fortify has to change. It is really frustrating to play against a fortify Orisa. Next tank that we have to talk about is Ramatra. Ramatra is really good, but what makes him really strong is Ramatra's ultimate. Ramatra's ultimate can last for infinity. There is no need for that. There has to be a cap, and that cap has to be around 10 or 12 seconds. But the next thing that I want to talk about is Ramatra's Parma block. Parma block has to go. Right now, if you block, then you go for punches. Then you can instantly block again. When Ramatra tries to cancel his block, there has to be a two-second cooldown, which gives the player the ability to kill Ramatra while Ramatra is trying to go for the kill. Okay, so that creates a window and that creates a skill gap between a good and a bad Ramatra player. There has to be a two-second window where Ramatra is not able to block again. Next. There is one more tank, and that is Sigma. Yes, Sigma needs to change, and there is only a small thing that they need to change in Sigma. As soon as the other tanks get nerfed, Sigma will automatically rise to the S tier. What they need to change? The Rock right now does 100 damage. All they have to do is reduce the 100 damage to 90 damage. What it means is, if you try to rock somebody, you can instantly fire your primary fire, which can one shot a 200 HP target. Let me show you. So you see, you can instantly one shot, not one shot, but You can use your combo to one shot anybody, which has to go, or else Sigma will be in a really good position. Just make his rock do 90 damage instead of 100. Talking about the damage category, let's start with Junkrat. Junkrat is really strong right now and is not a fun hero to play against. Junkrat can consistently kill a 200 HP target with his left click and mine combo, which is really easy to do. Either you have to reduce his overall DPS or you have to change his mine, but something has to be changed with Junkrat. Next hero is Sojourn. Her railgun is really strong. You have to give her a five second cooldown. If not that, then you have to implement a movement penalty. Like if Sojourn is hundred percent charged, she has to move fifty percent slower. There has to be a risk and reward involved with Sojourn. Next hero is Widowmaker. Her overall HP should be reduced from two hundred to one seventy five so that she is easier to kill, and her charge rate should be increased. Right now Widowmaker is really oppressive. The last category is support and let's talk about Kiriko. What makes Kiriko so strong right now is her Suzu and her ultimate Kitsune Rush. She can escape any situation in every 7 second and she can cleanse herself with a teleport. Her Suzu is really good 
she can easily save a team from a junkrat tire from a reaper ultimate with that and her kitsune rush provides you with increased movement speed increased fire rate and increased cooldown reduction something has to go either you remove the movement speed or you have to remove the cooldown reduction which will make her ultimate in line with the other supports so these are the changes that i think should be implemented for all the meta characters right now let me know what you think about this and tell me in the comment section i'll see you in the next video bye bye